Hello, my name is Bill Vincent. Welcome to another Prophetic Downloads. I have a word for you today that I'm going to share that I really believe is going to be a blessing to you, a blessing to the body of Christ. I believe there's a lot going on spiritually that God needs to really put his hand on. Hallelujah. And we're going to prophesy, speak the word of the Lord concerning many of those things. So this is one of those words you probably need to hear for such a time as this. We have a lot coming up, a lot of good times coming, but you want to understand some things. God's in control no matter what. So we're going to get into it. So don't go anywhere. Click the link at the bottom or just stay right here. And we will get started in just a moment. get into it today. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in everyone's life right now in Jesus' mighty name. I ask God that you bless America. You bless every country around, anyone watching this. I ask God that you bless them in every area of their life right now in Jesus' name. God said right now, there is so much going on. and there's, There are things going on that Sometimes seems one way when it's actually another. So God's going to begin to expose what the real things that are going on. And he's going to begin to expose some things. One is the media. God says the media needs fully exposed for who they are and what they're doing. They're doing some corruption in the area of reporting. And some of us are like, well, yeah, we've known this for years. But the way they're doing it now is would be highly illegal and should be highly illegal because they're taking bits and pieces of what someone said and cutting out all the things to make it mean something. And God says, I'm going to begin to cause an exposing, exposing, exposing. But the Lord says, understand the political arena is about to have a shakeup, but it's going to be a shakeup for the good. But the Lord says, understand uh, a lot of people call Trump uh, a lot of things. They call him and refer to Donald Trump as a lot of things. But God is right now saying a lot of what he said over the past many years are true. For the Lord says a lot of what he has said are true. And the Lord says, so understand whenever Donald Trump says some things, it's not politically correct. It's not coming. Uh, it's not something that handlers would have allowed or wanted him to say. It might not even seem like it would fit or even be logical or even uh, possible. But the Lord says a lot of what Donald Trump says that many believe are lies and just false things are actually true. And God says, I want you to understand that right now. He said this before. God said this before and he's saying it again. This is the most important election November 5th, 2024 of all time. A couple of elections ago, Hillary Clinton was running and lost against Donald Trump. And God said then that millions of deaths would happen to American people on American soil if Hillary had won. And she lost. Praise God. We just give God all the glory. God is saying now that if Kamala was to win, Everything that was supposed to happen when Hillary would have won and more. So more and more deaths upon American soil would take place if Kamala would become president. And the Lord says it is not part of his plan. And there's things that's happening right now that you're about to see. There's a lot of reversals and things that are happening right now already in motion. For the Lord says that understand do not become part of the unrest. For the Lord says there is going to be unrest in the streets in the days ahead. There's going to be chaos. There's going to be some things that's going to be just so out of order. And uh, the Lord says, protect yours and your homes, and I will take care of the rest. For the Lord says, understand, don't participate 
in any chaos, says the Spirit of God. For the Lord says, just allow my hand to move, allow reorganization to take place, allow some things to come in order. Because the Lord says there's so many things that are right now on the bank, on the brink of, of beginning to happen. And the Lord says, understand, this is a very critical time, more than ever before. And this is the most critical of all time, says the Spirit of God. So understand, we have a lot of moving, a lot of uh, moving parts that are taking place. And a lot of moving shifts that are taking place more than ever before. And we need to have these things in perfect order. For such a time as this and the Lord says understand there's a plan for this and there's a plan for that and the Lord says that right now it's not really a Republican Democrat election it's good versus evil and the Lord says you need to understand that and the Lord says even people right now don't even realize uh, what's going on uh, most people in America don't even realize what's going on and if you are one of the small percentage that says, well, our votes don't really count. This is a time that you need to vote. I don't care who I don't care who you are. This is the time you need to get out and vote more than ever before. Why? Because this is a critical, critical hour that we are messing with, says God. And the Lord says, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. For the Lord says, there are more for us than against us. So the Lord says, right now, uh, in the days ahead, there's going to be angels, much like the days of the Word of God, angels that are going to be seemingly on chariots of fire flowing through the United States of America, causing order, causing peace, causing uh, surrender, causing everything to come to pass the way it's supposed to happen, says God. And the Lord says, expose, 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 release, 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 vindicate, 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 justice for all says the Spirit of God. The Lord says that's what's about to happen. And we're going to see a lot of that. We're going to know a lot of this taking place. The Lord says, understand, again, this is a very critical time. So let's go to another level. God has said before about all kinds of things that he wanted to do in the area of revival, in the area of music, in the area of song. And that's another thing that's really about to hit in such a way as the area of music and song. And the Lord says a lot of people that you think are well-known celebrities, uh, even some that say they write their own songs and, and they do some things. The Lord says, you don't even know how much of the demonic realm is behind these people and people that are in control that are just behind them. And they are, they seemingly are just the best of the best and just wholesome and wonderful. And everybody just seems to love them. And right now they're even talking negative about Donald Trump. I want you to understand I'm going to expose them for who they are. And in the days ahead, you're going to see who they are. And it's going to cause a lot of friction uh, among young people in America because they're going to feel fooled. And they're going to be uh, feel bamboozled, so to speak. And the Lord says, understand, it's about to shift. And the Lord says it, it needs to happen, though, because of what we're dealing with. Because of what's about to come, there needs to be a, a, a veil lifted up all of our youth right now. Anybody who supports these type of people, the Lord says, it's not just one, there's many, but there's one head of the snake. The Lord says, I need to expose in the days ahead, and it's going to be exposed for who they really are. And the Lord says, it's already been exposed to many, but I'm talking about where no one, not even supporters, not even people that are supportive of them, that will be able to see anything otherwise, says God, because the Lord says, I'm going to expose and reveal the truth says the Spirit of God. The Lord says, you're going to see a lot of movement. And the Lord says, in the days ahead, I saw by the Spirit of God, uh, like, for those that may not understand, I saw, like, when you when you go to hook up plumbing for the first time, you have, it, it's kind of a, a real, I, I've done some plumbing, so it's kind of really a, a awesome thing whenever you, you hook up brand new plumbing and you get it all connected the way it's supposed to be and it's it's ready to go and you turn on that water and all the water goes through those pipes and there's no leaking hallelujah that's you're praising god immediately and and i'm telling you there's just a there's an unusual feeling when that happens and if you've never done that you probably don't know what i'm talking about but just to understand there's a there's a real feeling of like wow that's that's awesome hallelujah 
Uh, what was broken is now fixed. What is flowing now is not going to be able to be stopped. Hallelujah. And I saw by the Spirit of God inside the plumbing that I was seeing in the spirit realm was money. And I asked God what that meant. And he said, I'm going to begin to flow money into people's lives. The Lord says, once I connect these final, final couple pieces of pipe, so to speak, in the spirit realm, uh, the inflow of money is going to come just like water through pipe. Hallelujah. It's just going to flow. Hallelujah. And it's going to flow into uh, uh, ministries. It's going to flow into businesses. It's going to flow into authors that are kingdom authors. It's going to flow into uh, uh, people that are just speaking the truth. And it's going to flow in a lot of people's lives. And it's just going to begin to flow. And the Lord said, I'm connecting the parts. And uh, there's an enemy that is doing everything in the power to stop this, says God. And the Lord says, but I understand. Uh, I'm not going to let this happen, says God. One of the things I just released today was a prophetic nugget that I release every day. It's called a prophetic nugget on this, on the very channel that you're watching this on. And uh, I tell you, God's right now releasing a powerful, powerful, powerful word for us today. And I'm telling you, this is a time whenever he's going to begin to cause everything that we've been believing for begin to come to pass. Everything that's been hindering, delaying, putting things to where it seems like it's never going to happen is being broken off. And again, no demon in hell is going to be able to stop what God is about to release. I'm connecting the final pieces and I'm going to cause a floodgate to open and I'm going to cause a mighty outpouring, says the Spirit of God. I'm going to cause floods of finances. I'm going to cause floods of wealth. I'm going to cause floods of land and buildings and I'm going to cause floods of anointing to be able to do things. I'm going to cause a flood of miracles, signs and wonders. I'm going to cause a flood, says God. I'm going to cause a flood. So guess what? If you want to be part of that flood, just reach out your hand right now and just say, I want to be part of that flood right now in Jesus' mighty name. God's releasing it and it's coming right now, right where you're at, right where you're sitting, right where you are in Jesus' mighty name because there's a floodgates that are opening. The floodgates are opening for such a time as this. I'm going to anoint my people. Their mouths will be filled with my word. Hallelujah. And, and their, their eyes will see things that they've never seen before. Their ears will open to hear what I am saying. And the Lord says their hands shall have power. That when they lay hands on someone, they're going to be healed. They're going to be delivered. They're going to be set free. But the Lord says even the shadow of my people shall cause miracles to take place. Much like it did in the day of Peter and the Lord says understand I'm moving I'm moving I'm moving and the floodgates are opening says the Spirit of God Whew, God we give you all the praise I'm telling there are some things that God's about to release that we just don't even know about I'm telling you we don't even know about we couldn't comprehend it if we tried to we can wrap our brain around it if, if we could if we try to I'm telling you there's a lot of times where we get to the place to where we're just like oh God is this going to be like before? Is this going to be like before? Oh, I, I, I'm broke again. Oh, I'm this again. Or whatever again. Hallelujah. And, and it's just this, this cycle. The enemy is trying to get you to fall into a cycle of accepting whatever is bad. Whatever is bad. Just accept it. As far as me and my house, we are not accepting second best. We're not accepting less. We're not accepting uh, anything else. We are not accepting more years of America going down the toilet. We are not accepting. We are not going to say yes to it. We're not going to agree to this. Hallelujah. We're not going to uh, just say whatever. Hallelujah. We're going to say whatever be will be will be. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to begin to stand up as a child or man, woman of God, and say within ourselves, as far as me and my house. We're going to serve the Lord. As far as the United States of America, it's going to be lined up. Ha! As far as all the world, there's going to be peace on earth. And there's going to be so many moves of God taking place in all different countries. Hallelujah. God says, I'm going to put my hand upon Canada. I'm going to put my hand upon Ukraine. 
upon Russia as well. Uh, I'm going to put my hand on Korea. I'm going to put my hand, says God, upon uh, places in India. Hallelujah. I'm going to put my hand on many facets of the United States. I'm going to put my hand upon many places, says the Spirit of God. And Europe and, and all the places within shall be impacted with my move, says the Spirit of God. I am going to put my hand upon it. Australia shall be touched in two places and that it will be like a mighty outpouring says God. And the Lord says there is Americans uh, I saw by the Spirit of God going into some of these places with anointing and also people within the country shall continue with that anointing. And the Lord says I'm going to move, I'm going to move, I'm going to move. And the Lord says understand Illinois there is something going to shift in the area of Illinois. We're about to see the biggest shift we've ever seen happen in Illinois. Also California there's going to be one of the biggest shifts. I believe this is something God said some similar before. There's going to be a big shift happening in California. And the Lord says it's going to cause a lot of things to change. New York is another one. God says it's going to cause a major shift. Things are there, just shocking shifts are about to take place in Illinois, in California, and in New York. And the Lord says it's going to happen, and it's going to happen, says the Spirit of God. The Lord says I'm going to, I'm going to turn people from one way to another. I'm going to cause people to, to wake up even in this next couple of weeks. I'm going to cause a mass awakening to take place to where people's eyes are going to be open to really see how important, how important this hour is more than it ever has been before. For the, <coughs> for the Lord says we are on the we are on a place right now, like on the edge of, of the cliff, to where if we if we as a as a nation, especially in America, if we just get pushed just a little bit more, it's all going to go away so quickly. There's not going to be a nation left if we keep going the way we're going. And we, the, our rights are being uh, 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 taken away. Things are trying to happen every day. And it's time for us to stand upon the Word of God and know that we are not going to be shaken. And our Constitution is going to be uh, uh, pushed forward for us to understand our rights and who we are because it's such a time as this. This is a time, a very critical time. And I, the Lord, am not going to leave you stranded. I, the Lord, am not going to ignore things. I, the Lord, am not going to just let something else happen. I, the Lord, am not going to allow repeats, <laughs> says the Spirit of God. I'm not going to allow things to happen that, that you may fear are about to happen because the Lord says there's things that's going to happen that's going to shock you. It's going to be so much this time to where no one's going to be able to stop it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we just give you praise. We give you glory. And we just thank you, God, for what you are doing. God bless you. And we will see you in the next one.